What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the question keeps being aroused to me and asked of me about the highly anticipated, undisputed, welterweight showdown between two of the most highly decorated pound for pound fighters in the sport of boxing today that are both undefeated between undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO welterweight world champion who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford, who has 38 wins, no loss and no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach and undefeated unified three belt WBC, WBA, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who was widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Who is 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. With that said, you're hearing all types of rumors and reports. You had a uh, fight hype that recently came out and they stated that Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford is almost about done, okay? According to fight hype, they stated that it was almost done and that the holdup uh, for the fight, one of the holdups was the fact that Terrence Crawford has a close relationship and an agreement with MTK Global and alleged wanted uh, uh, man in Daniel Kinahan, okay? And that is holding up the fight from coming to fruition, right? And everybody keeps asking me, well, it's Terrence Crawford's fault because Daniel Kinahan is preventing the fight from happening because the PBC, Premier Boston Champions, founding advisor Al Heyman, Showtime, Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa, which is the team and advisory team for, management team, advisory team for Errol Spence Jr., okay? And uh, they have concerns that Daniel Kinahan is involved and they don't want any um, doings with Daniel Kinahan and Terrence Crawford has a, 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 a deal done with Daniel Kinahan that's preventing it from coming to fruition. And so everybody's saying, well, it's Terrence Crawford for, for signing with Daniel Kinahan. Well, they keep asking me, well, what about Daniel Kinahan and Terrence Crawford, MTK? I'm going to tell you guys this. Errol Spence has fought your Dana Sugis, former WBA welterweight world champion, Cuban star boxer, April 16th, Arlington, Texas, AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. April 16th. You have May, June, July, August, September, October. You have six and a half months since the last time Errol Spence fought. Saturday is going to be October. That's six and a half months. Again, May, June, July, August, September, October. We're going into October. And he fought April 16th. After the fight, Errol Spence immediately called out Terrence Crawford said, I'm coming for your belt, coming for your straps. Terrence Crawford, he last fought November 20th of 2021 against another PBC fighter in two-time welterweight world champion who is now retired future Hall of Fame superstar boxer in Showtime Sean Porter. That was November 20th of 2021. Sean Porter is a PBC Showtime fighter. The fight happened. Yes, at that time, Terrence Crawford was still signed to Matchroom, I mean, excuse me, legendary promoter, top ranked CEO, Bob Arum and ESPN. But there was reports then that Terrence Crawford might have had an advisory deal done, right? with MTK Global and Daniel Kinahan. As we know, 
The same was so for Top Rank's other fighter, the biggest fighter over there, and literally and figuratively, in undefeated two-time heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Tyson and Gypsy King Fury. Okay? We know for a fact that Tyson Fury had relations with Daniel Kinahan. He stated it on numerous occasions. While he was signed to Top Rank and Bob Arum, and also co-promoted with Queensberry Promotions, legendary British promoter and CEO, Frank Warren. Tyson Fury took to social media to let the world know he just got word from Daniel Kinahan that the Anthony Joshua fight has been agreed upon. And we heard rumblings that uh, possibly Terrence Crawford was signed to Daniel Kinahan as an advisory team, right? That didn't stop the Sean Porter fight. It didn't stop Tyson Fury from fighting Deontay Wilder in the trilogy. Tyson Fury announced this relationship and partnership with Daniel Kinahan before his trilogy with Deontay Wilder, Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion superstar boxer, who's also with the PBC and advised by Al Heyman in the PBC. They fought in the trilogy. Tyson Fury says in the video, I've just been informed by Daniel Kinahan that I'm going to fight. A deal was done for Anthony Joshua. All I got to do is get past Deontay Wilder, who's a PBC fighter. And then after that, <clears throat> Ty, uh, Terrence Crawford fought Sean Porter, who's a PBC fighter. So Fight Hype reporting that a part of the problem is Daniel Kinahan. They don't want any doings with him. Okay, like I said, Errol Spence fought Yadanis Ugas April 16th. That's six and a half months ago already. You don't think that they did their homework. Al Heyman, one of the most powerful people in the world, at least in entertainment business, sports, music, music, things of like that. You don't think that uh, Al Heyman at this point in time has done his due diligence, done his homework for that not to be a problem? Because if it was going to be a problem, then he just wouldn't be even negotiating a fight with Terrence Crawford. Because you don't think that Al Heyman knows somebody who knows somebody who could get him information to see if Terrence Crawford has a, a relationship and obligation to Daniel Kinahan that's going to stand in the way or hinder what they're doing or bring down, you know, um, heat on them. <clears throat> you think it took Al Heyman six months to figure that out? Of course not. Al Heyman knows if uh, Terrence Crawford has any obligations to Daniel Kinahan and if it's going to bring them any negative unwanted attention and and possibly damage their brand you think he don't know that so when people are saying Daniel Kinahan and Terrence Crawford relationship he signed is preventing the fight from happening no it is not Just November 20th of 2021, a PBC fighter who was involved with Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford fight just fought. Now went to a purse man, but they just fought. PBC name was on that on that uh, uh, um, promotion for Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. <clears throat> okay, PBC name was on. Uh, uh, the promotion for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Now I know people are going to say, yeah, well, you know, it just came out recently about everything with Daniel Hen Kinahan being on. No, it has not. Do your homework. This is not, this is nothing new. Do your homework. He's been a warning man, quote unquote, allegedly. This is nothing new. So there's no way possible that Daniel Kinahan relationship with Terrence Crawford is preventing this fight from coming to fruition. It's just not. Again, Al Heyman's one of the most powerful people in entertainment, whether it be sports or music or acting or whatever. You don't think that he is able to get the information he needs to assure him that this is not going to bring any negative, unwanted attention to his brand and to his company and to what he's doing? It didn't take him six months to do that. 
It just simply didn't take six months to do that. Okay? So whatever's preventing the fight from coming to fruition and being announced, right? Guess what? It ain't Daniel Kinahan and Terrence Crawford relationship, period. So let's see what, what is holding up the fight if it comes to fruition. And that's all I got for y'all. Terrence Crawford is a network promotional free agent. Okay. Uh, his advisory team, if that was to be the case with Dan Kinahan, MTK Global, is not going to stop this fight from coming to fruition. So when Fight Hype reported it, that that was a big part of the reason that it hasn't been agreed upon because, uh, and I know Steven Espinosa, he did an interview in which Steven Espinosa, he stated that, um, he, if Daniel Kinahan was going to be a part of it, they wanted no parts. That was uh, uh, a while ago when Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford fought for the Errol Spence fight. November. So that means November. Now think about this now. That was November of 2021 when he said that. So there was a reason he said that because like I said, this is not something new that he's allegedly been on the run and the wanted man or whatever. So they knew this when Terrence Crawford fought Sean Porter. That's not holding it up, period. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.